Alrighty, g'day guys, welcome to our first installment of uh, Power Rankings this season for MLP, we're of season 15, um, and as voted by you guys, Luxury is going to be the one that we kick right off with. Um, yeah, hoping to have one of these out for the next four days, get five Power Ranking videos in five days. Um, you can check my channel in the Discord server if you want to know which ones are coming next. And it is not too late to influence the vote. I will probably have recorded uh, the first two by the time you've seen this. But yeah, go and vote for the next ones that you want to see, which I'll probably be recording in the next day or two. Um, but yeah, so you guys have all seen how I do power rankings here before. Um, if not, you'll catch on pretty soon. But we're going to start with Frost Eye. And we're going just in draft order. Um, that was the easiest for me. Um... And as always, I haven't really seen these teams before, so it'll be a first look for both of us. Um, so, Frost Eye's team has the Dragapult, Rotom Wash, Jirachi, Mamoswine, Togekiss, Mega Mawile, Superior, Nihilego, and Scrafty. Um, right off the bat, uh, Dragapult round one, that's... Well, Dragapult pick one is always fun. Uh, Rotom Wash, Jirachi, um, not bad picks there. Mamoswine, and then Togekiss is the next wheel, then like... What's going on, guys? Round 6 Mega Mawile. I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, um, but yeah, come on. Like, let's be let's be a bit realistic here. Um, that's that's not round 6 Mon. That should have gone round 1. Um, maybe round 2 at a stretch. Uh, then, like, Superior Nihi Lego and Scrafty. What I see, first initial instincts, is... Um, it took us a while to really patch... Um, the weaknesses that Dragapult has. Um, Dragapult's f got four weaknesses, I think. Um, it's Ghost, Dark, Ice, and Fairy. Um, we grabbed an Ice and a Fairy resist in our first wheel, but they're probably the... Well, not not necessarily Fairy, but I'd feel like Ghost and Dark are probably the ones that you really want. And we didn't actually grab a Ghost resist until Scrafty down the bottom. Um... And that's not a not a mon that's going to come a lot to games, so I feel like ghost attacks are going to be pretty strong against this team, considering they have no normal. Um, and just looking at this team, like I with Togekiss being like your main, especially bulky mon. Yes, there's Nihilego, but that doesn't love doing that job. Um, I fear for the game that this guy has to play, that Frost Eye has to play Gengar, because um, Gengar kind of just womps through this team um yeah so that's that's just my initial thoughts um i also yeah i speed tiers are not amazing um so that's the first place that i like to start is we look at this column here we look at our speed tiers dragapult's a fantastic speed tier um then you've got superiors also really nice uh, and then it drops down to nihilego Generally, I love to have... The way I like to do speed tiers, and this differs for everyone, I like to have two mons over 110. Um, if they're super reliable, or if you've got a mon here, like Superior, that's probably coming to like half your games, I wouldn't mind another like low tier pick. Something like um, an Ambipom that springs to mind, because that's like a mon that's in the forefront of my head. Like a mon that you can bring fairly often, but it doesn't come to every game. So like... That's generally what I like to see, um, and if not, it's like, Mons at 110 are fine as well, but we sort of have this jump down to Neo Lego, um, looking at, say, like, these first sort of three Mons plus Mega Mawile are what you're really going to be bringing to most games, um, and then, like, Mamoswine, Togekiss, Neo Lego, Superior, Scrafty, like, they all will probably fill out the last two spots most weeks, um, but looking at that, like, Dragapult's a fantastic speed tier, but then there's... Not a lot going on from there. Um, like, looking at our defensive spreads, like, these are some really nice SPDF stats, and we've got some really nice defense. Um, so, like, from a raw stats department, I kind of like this team. Um, it's a little bit, like, it's not the strongest hitting specially, but you do have Neo Lego Togekiss, and then Dragapult's, like, another quite a strong um, special attacker. Then you got, like, Mega Mawile Mamoswine, which is a really nice, like breaking core, because what sort of sits in front of Mega Mawile is, like, mainly steel types, um, and then, like, the odd fire type, something like an Arcanine, um, the, like, so you've got Mamoswine, which really likes to break those, so I love that, um, that core there. Let's move across to look at our pivots, um, Jirachi, Dragapult, and Rotom Wash. 
that's not what I'd love to see. Just, just because um, you've got like Mega Mawile, you got Mama Swine, you've got like Neo Lego, you got these hard hitting threats that really want to just be brought in as often as possible. You want to bring Dragapult in pretty safely because that's such a big part of this team. So I would have loved to have seen more momentum and some more slow momentum because like. Yes, Ronan Wash is slow momentum because there's not too often you running like a very speedy Rotom. Like there will be matchups, but more often than not you're running a slower Rotom with not a lot of speed investment. So that's like I'd class that as slow momentum because like it's not super slow, but it's it is what it is. But then Dragapult and like Jirachi, so you're not often getting say let's use Mega Mawile for an example. One of the ways that I personally, and a lot of people that I know, love playing Mega Mawile is just a lot of slow momentum, get it in for free, and really just click a button. Like, you can click Play Rough, you can click Iron Head, you can click Knock Off, um, or one of the other coverage moves, and it become, it just puts your opponent in such a horrible position, having to guess what mon to go out to because of this. Because not every, like, barely any teams are going to have a switch into this. So I just feel like that's something that Frost could have really taken advantage of. Um, but yeah, moving on, we've got... Uh, what do I call it? we got our Rockers here. This is a fine amount of Rockers. You've got four Rockers. Mawile doesn't love having to do it, but can do it fairly safely because of the amount of switches that Mawile f um, forces. Same thing with Mamoswine, although Mamoswine has four move slot syndrome far worse than Mawile, in my opinion. Um, then Jirachi and Nihi are pretty good. Uh, same with your removal. Um, none of these three are like love doing it in a way, say like Mandibuzz or something like that. Just can always fit removal. Um, but you will you'll be able to fit removal once every week. Whoops. Um, yeah. So overall, um, I think this team is good. It's just missing that sort of I don't know that last five percent. That last like a bit of slow momentum. Honestly, if this was my team. N <sighs> I'm not even sure how I'd fix it, because, like, Scrafty actually does pretty well here, like, this Scrafty Nihi core, because, like, they kind of cover each other's fairy weakness. You got, like, Steel here, to, double Steel to resist fairy. Um, let's crack on and just have a look at this tab. Um, I know you can't see it all because it's cut off here. Um, but, yeah, there's no real glaring weakness. Um... Like, Superior being really around the ground resist is probably something, and then, like, Dragapult being... Dragapult Togekiss being around... Like, it's it's a good team. It's just, like, as I said, missing that last 5%. But we're going to start strong, and we're going to start Frost Eye off with a 7.5 out of 10. Um, and we're going to move swiftly on, because I've been talking for 7 minutes. Uh, Puffer here, the second in the draft order. we got Lando Eye, Mega Medicham, Ferrothorn Sloking, P2, Reggie Lackey, Colossal, Dracovish... Rabombi and Alola Muck. So, straight up, a very interesting team to me. Um, first impressions is like this. Great. Um, these two decent mons. This is just a bit strange to me. Like, we kind of went off the rails a little here at the end. Um, but yeah, looking at the speed tiers... Um, Obviously, you have Regilecki and you have Rabombi, both fantastic speed tiers, but they're two mons that can't really come every week because Regilecki is kind of useless against ground types. Um, and yes, you do have Dracovish as like one of the best ways to break ground types, but if you go up again, like there will be teams that have the um, what you call it. Um, the water absorbed ground types. Um, so there's like weeks that you just won't be able to really break them because your grass types are Ferrothorn. Um, but outside that, like Rubombi, yeah, again, it doesn't come to every week because its main niche is webs or quiver dance. It doesn't really have the bulk to get quiver dance off a lot of the time. So, like, yeah, it's it's a decent pick, but it can't come every week. But outside that, it's Lando and Mega Medi. Uh, Mega Medi can't really boost itself. Lando is sheer force, so like it doesn't want to run Scarf. And then your speed option is Scarf Dracovish outside of that. So that's my first impression is this team is very slow. Um, like, it's just, yeah, not amazing. Looking at our, our other stats here, special attackers, we have Lando, and we, I guess, Regilecki, and then maybe like a Quiver Dance Rabombi. So it's, Lando is really pressured here to break um, physical walls. 
just because, like, yes, you have a Mega Medi, um, and a Dracovish, but if you get some, like, really fat mons, that I'm talking, like, 100, like, sort of, I'm not, I'm not too sure off the top of my head, but, like, something that's really fat, they're gonna be able to put a lot into, um, defense, but then, actually, now that I look at it, looking at this attack stat, yes, you do have, um, Mega Metacham, and you do have Dracovish, which make up for their subpar attack stats with Ficious Rend and Pure Power, respectively. But outside of that, it's just... It feels to me like if this team is going to do well, Dracovish, Mega Medi, and Lando are going to have to get almost all the kills this season. And that's... Like, they're three mons that do love killing things. And believe me, yes, I know Dracovish isn't inherently a good mon, but I actually really enjoyed it. Um, I've used it a couple of times. It's not the most competitive, but it is just a fun mon, and so I can see it. And also, like, round, what is a eight here? I think... Why not go for it? Also, I do like the fact that there is webs plus Dracovish because Scarf Dracovish, yes, it's a really good set, but people have realized that like a bulky water can take two Ficious Wrens. But if you rock up with webs and then you don't need the speed boost, and you can just like click banded Ficious Rend, or you can run like Life Orb, or even like a subset. I've seen like sub outrage or like sub super fang, that sort of stuff work against water absorb mod. Like I think that adds a dynamic to Dracovish that is really important. Um, looking looking at our defensive stuff, like, I look at this as a whole. Um, we go, we get sort of ignoring HP because HP stat's, like, a little bit misleading. Like, it's a good HP stat is really nice to have, something like a Lola Mark. Um, not so much Colossal because it's just such a bad type. Like, say, a Lola Mark, a really nice HP stat is great to have, but then something like... Um, a Ferrothorn which doesn't have the best. Like, it's not... A bad one isn't necessarily a bad thing, so we'll leave that out. There's no real outstanding or, like, a plethora of good stats in any column. So, like, that... To me, seeing that, like, that's fine, but you want the actual Pokemon themselves to make up for this. Um, and I just don't think they do, really, because... It, like, you want to be breaking... Um, like Lando, probably like your ground resists are what like Lando hates facing and it gets rock slide. So like your bulky grasses or your levitate bonds. Um, so let's say grass types, for example. Yes, I know Lando gets sludge wave, but that's neither here nor there. Um, a way to break it is only a lowland muck because grass is also wall drake of ish. Um, like what I, what I'm really see missing is I know you have a flying type in Lando, but I would have loved to have seen flying stab. Um, just, or like, yeah, some way to like break those types. Um, momentum, let's have a look. Uh, I've been going on a little bit on this team. We've got, Le excuse me, Lando, Rabombi, Reggie, Lecky, um, and then we got two teleport ones. So this is kind of what I was talking about with Frost Eyes team. Like, this is proper slow momentum. Slow King P2 to get these two breakers in. They're going to have to do all the killing, so you might as well have to have a way to get them in, and that's fantastic um i love that momentum because yeah it's not the most but if you look at it these lando's coming every week almost p2 and sloking both of them are coming most weeks and at least one of them's coming every week and then like you've got these two which like regilecki rabombi which are coming like i would be surprised if at least one of them didn't come most of the time so you're going to have a good amount of momentum to get in that meta jam to get in that Dracovish to get in that Lando and to really kill things and just to sort of make up for the lackluster um, stat sharing sort of thing. Uh, Hazard Setters, um, Ferro, Lando, Cole, um, they're decent. Rubombi uh, with webs, um, I would have liked maybe one more. Like Cole is, I would have just really loved this Mon not be here and have like a better Hazard support Mon. Uh, removal's a bit Eh, though, but with, like, Rabombi and then with Ferrothorn, we can force our opponent to remove, so it's not too bad. Like, yeah, having four of them, um, but just, like, Rabombi doesn't want to click Defog if it's already clicked Sticky Webs. Colossal is just a bad Pokemon, in my opinion. Like, yeah, it's got its niche, but I just don't see it coming very often. Lan if you're clicking Defog with Lando, you're running Lando I wrong, in my opinion. So it's like, 
Regilecki is kind of your default hero removal. And that's mitigated by your stats. Um, but yeah, I, I'm going to give this team... I'm going to give this team a, a 6.5 out of 10. Um, that's just... I don't know. We'll see how we go from here. These numbers, once again, I'll remind everyone that these numbers are purely based on the other teams in the division. This does not mean that a 6.5 today will be the same as a 6.5 tomorrow. Um, so we got next, we got Mace, we got a Shifu single, we got Aegis Slash, Latias, Swampert, Mega Aero, Moltres, Galarian Weezing, Shaman, Arctazolt, and Aurorus. And once again, first thing I see is like around five Mega Aero. Like, where were, what was everyone doing in luxury, like drafting Megas? Because we've seen like a super late Mega Mawile, we've seen a really late Mega Aero, like, and we're only three teams in. Um, so looking at this, like, obviously we have the broken, like, the button. Mon, we have Aegislash, which is a really good way to break fairies, which is kind of your one resist to a Shifu. Uh, Latias, which is like, just a really nice Pokemon. Mega Aero, which, again, like fighting type, like a really bulky fighting type. Not that those super exist, like maybe Girder or something. It's probably one of your ways that you'd break this. And then we've got a really good flying type. Um, double flying is not the worst, but it's not the best. Um, this team, wow, this team is really anti-ground moves. We have Levitate, Double Fly, well, Double Fly and Double Levitate. Um, Galarian Weezing is also always a nice mon to have. Shaman is great. And then we have a Hail Core that I don't think will ever be useful because Arctazolt is terrible because it's got base 55 speed. And Aurorus is not a real Pokemon. Um, looking at our speed tiers... Now, this is what I mean by having, like, two mons at 110 or over, if they're mons that are going to come almost every week. You have Latias and Mega Aero. If there is a week when neither of these come, I will be extremely shocked. Um, and that's probably the week that Mace tries to fit Hail on the team, and that he'll lose. Unless a Shifu just drags him through the mud. Um, but yeah, so I don't mind, like, little weather cores at the end, if they help your sort of top-tier mons. Um, but, like, Ice Breaks ground types it breaks like ice breaks a lot of things like grounds flying um grass types obviously but like flying and grass types you have no problem with because you have mega aero um like mega aero sitting right there uh you also have aegislash um it's really on the, the ground types that like the rest of the team appreciates this breaking and i've already discussed how anti-ground this whole team is so, I'm not too sure that it, the hail was necessary. I would have loved, like, just some more niche picks. Um, maybe a second water to go with Swampert. Because, like, you're putting a lot of pressure on Shaman Latias to take your water attacks. Um, from the aforementioned Dracovish that was on the last team. But, looking at... So, speed tiers are nice. Um, our bulk is okay. Um... Like, looking down here, Aegislash is, like, decent, but then again, it has Blade Form, yada, yada, yada. Galarian Weezing, um, Swampert, Moltres are all, like, decent. Shaman's probably, like, the bulkiest thing on this team, in my opinion. Um, or, like, Latias, if we're talking specially. So, it's, like, it's okay. Good, not great, in my opinion, but I really love the breaking power on this team. Like, you got a Shifu, Aegislash, Mega Aero. Um, and Latias. Latias, yeah, it's got 110, so, like, it give it more respect. Even Moltres, like, that thing demands some respect. It's flying spam with Hurricane now. Um, yeah, so, I just love how this team sort of complements each other, until you get to the last two mons, of course, but I, that's my sort of favourite part of this team. What I don't like here is Moltres, um, Ashifu, and Swampert are really our only pivoting options. A lot of you will notice thus far, I don't really count Baton Pass because it's bad teleport and it's wasting a moveset, and it also means you can't run it with any stat boosting because stat passing is bad, banned, and it's, yeah, uh, it's just not great. Um, so only having three ways to get your Broken Breakers in, um, it's not amazing, especially when like Aegislash can struggle coming in at times. Um, Laddie can struggle coming in, like, a Shifu doesn't really want to be, like, hard switching in because, especially, it's not the bulkiest and you really can't afford that thing being worn down. So that's, like, kind of what I see, um, happening to Mace this season is, like, struggling to get his, his main breakers in. 
Uh, looking at hazards, Mega LRO, Swampert, uh, pretty good rockers, Glare and Weezing's great toxic spikes. This Pokemon doesn't exist, I will tell you that again. I don't think it's really great. Um, the only thing it's good for is setting weather, and the weather isn't needed here. Um, removal, however, removal's really good, because Glare and Weezing and Moltres are super reliable. Latias and Mega Aero can do it in a pinch, so you'll never be caught um, hazard weak. And one thing I want to show you is adding these two mons down here. Um, you like it makes your ground when you actually have a ground weakness and i would love to like you can't see but our only ghost resist is a shifu and like you could have just put on a like a normal type or something like down the bottom um that would have made it great or a second water to you know like our only water resists a laddie and shaman here so like ice beam it kind of goes in so Honestly, if I was Mace, I would drop Aurorus, drop Arctazolt, get a decent normal type, um, and get a water type, and maybe have some of those have some momentum or, like, stealth rocks. Like, that's my take on this team. Um, I think, if we just click back here, I think it's... I think it's on par with um, Puffer's team, so it's getting a 6.5 out of 10. Um, it's not, not amazing. But we're going to move on to a borrow because we've been 20 minutes and we've got three teams done. Oh my god, I'm going to be here for like two hours at this stage. Um, so this is an interesting team. We have Latios, Heatran, Mega Swampert, Tabubulu, uh, Thundee Eye, Pelipper, Mianchao, Galarian, Dam, Alolan, Persian, Armaldo, and Furfuru. So, first of all, first impressions in this team... Um, like, you have Bulu, Tran, Laddy, which I love as a core. Um, they cover each other really well. We've got, like, Rain Mode here with, like, Armaldo, Pelipper, and Mega Pert. You've got Galad Darm, which feels a bit weird. Um, Alolan Persian and Mian Chao. Like, this... It's interesting. Um, let's take a bit of a deeper dive. Speed tier-wise, um, obviously a new Rain Team is going to be fantastic, but this is, like, really good. Alolan Persian, Thundee, and Laddie. All really good speed tiers. Yes, the, these two, a lot of people argue, oh, they're the same speed tier. Like, it doesn't care. It's still faster than, like, 90% of the four, excuse me, format. You then have a Mega Pert and an Armaldo in rain. Yes, Armaldo doesn't get very fast, but it's still, like... I think it can still outspeed, like, base 110s, base 115s, something like that. I don't know. Um... Mega Swampert, it gets really fast, so we don't have a problem there. Look at our special offense. We have Thundee, Heatran, and Laddie, really good. I would have loved if this Armaldo was a special sweeper, something like a Kingdra or a Ludicolo, because I think one more special sweeper, and you can look here, oh, go away, um, you can look here, like, we have a lot of physical offense. Uh, we have... Mega Pert, Bulu, um, you have Mian Chao, you have Galare Dam, and you have Armaldo, and then, like, you've got potentially physical Thundee. I would have thought this team would have been balanced a little nicer by a... Probably a King... Eh, no, probably a Ludicolo, just because, like, that Mon is phenomenal in rain. Um, and yes, you have a Grass type, but also, like grassy terrain boosted moves, or like, I don't know, it's not the worst type to double up on when it's an offensive typing, um, so yeah, that's what I take, um, this column here concerns me a little bit, because you have Tran that can take hits, um, Mega Pert doesn't want to be taking hits because it wants to be a rain sweeper, um, Bulu can take some hits, and then like, that's kind of it, like looking just say from like, Thundee down, Pelipper, like, 60-100 isn't the greatest defensive typing, and then, like, Manchow, Galad, Dumb. Alolan Persian has Fluffy, so it can kind of do stuff, but then, like, yeah, so that's kind of what I see. Strong physical attackers are going to be really strong against this team. Same thing here, where it's, like, probably even worse on this side, because you have Mega Pert, and you have Laddie and Tran, and they're all mons that, like, Tran doesn't mind taking hits, but... And probably going to be the one that's, like, dedicated defensive mon here. So this team screams hyper-offense to me. Especially, like, Heatran and Rain feels weird. So you're probably going to be running defensive Tran just because, like, your fire attacks are nerfed. Um, 
yeah, this team basically has to be run hyper offense. And you can see this by the pivots column. Like, finally, someone getting close to finishing it. We have one, two, three, four, five. Not a Pokemon. Um, six Mons. That can, so you can run a team of pivots. Um, and that's, yeah, so like you can run a team of pivots. Also, you've noticed that I haven't spoken about Furfruit. Furfruit does nothing. Like, it... <laughs> It's pretty useless on this team. Um, I guess it's there so that you don't lose to ghost types, like, straight outright, but also, like, you still do. Um, because you lose to any coverage move. Our rockers, I would have... I guess that's why our Moldo's here, because you only had two rockers. One of them's, like, your Mega. That's your Rain Sweeper that doesn't want to be setting rocks. Um, and then probably same with that hazard removal. You have priority defog, which is like a niche thing. Probably not as important as like it would be in other formats. Laddie and Pelipper. Like Pelipper's going to be your main removal. Um, and you're going to need it because, well, you've got no rocks. So they set rocks on you. You don't have any rockers to force a defog. So that's like, that's a downfall in my opinion. And a pretty, pretty steep one for a hyper offense team because... I don't know, maybe it's just a personal thing, but when I'm building Hyper Offense, I love to have a Mon like um, Klefki or like some, a form of like hazard setter that can just like stack some hazards and then make it really hard for your opponent to remove them. Um, but yeah, so hazard game's a bit weak, like bulk game's a bit weak, so you have to run Hyper Offense, but it's got really good pivots. The Pokemon themselves are just really nice. Like, I. I kind of just enjoy, like, up to here, and then Alolan Persian. Gladarm's weird. Um, steel types kind of, like, just shut this one down. Water types as well. You don't break waters the best. Like, yeah, you got Bulu, you got Thundee. Um, actually, I'll take that back. You break them, like, decent. Um, steel types, you've got Mega Pert, you've got Tran. So, like, that's... It's not the worst pick on this team. I just feel like the points could have been used a bit more to, like, fill out here. Um, if this is my team, personally, I drop these four. Maybe keep Persian, because you need the, you need the Dark type. And I pick up Ludicolo, and I pick up just some low-tier bulk, a better normal, um, maybe a better rock type, just to, like, get some rocks, um, or, like, get a more reliable hazard setter. Um, but yeah, that's, that's where I'm feeling. Um, if we look back at Mace's team, I think this is, I think this is a 7 out of 10. Just because I personally, yes, it does have to be run hyper offense, but I think that's that's a pretty reliable strategy, um, especially in draft league. Um, just because like you have and like rain's probably one of the best weather. Rain's probably the best weather outside of sand, I'd say. But sand only has Excadrill, whereas rain you can run like more as a true weather team. Uh, but yeah, so let's keep moving. Uh, we got Eevee. Spoilers, I did actually draft all of this team, bar the Mega and the Metagross. Um, so this section's probably going to be a bit shorter. Um, just, like, I don't want to be... Usually I leave out um, the teams that I draft, um, like when I draft my own team. But I don't want to be mean to Eevee and just, like, give some thoughts behind this team. Um, so we got Mega Deancey, Necrozma, Galarian, Zapdos, Crocodile, Metagross, Suicune, Salazzle, Decidueye, Galvantula, and Type Null. Um, so, like, this team was basically built around, like, let's kind of just pick... Let's just sort of make, like, a bog-standard draft team that is, like, fun mons that are easy to use. So you got, like, Mega Deancey, great at clicking buttons, Galarian, Zapdos, you got the like, Crook, Suicune... Um, Necrozma's a really good glue mon, like, you got your steel, um, Decidueye I really like, um, Type Null was just sort of here for a, a ghost resist, because I didn't want to rely on Crocodile all the time, and then Galvantula just because webs plus, um, like these two breakers here, and then even, like, an offensive crook, I think is really good, um, yeah, so, basically, like, this team, fairly well-rounded, um, it's what I was going for. Um, it's got decent spadef options like Decidueye, Suicune, Necrozma are kind of like the main ones here. Defensively as well, you've got like Metagross, Suicune, um, Necrozma. Like it does does that pretty well. Like Crook with Intimidate. Um, 
got some really good breaking power. That's like what one of the things I like about this team, and I'm kind of sad that I'm not going to get to use it after drafting it because you have G Zap, Crook, Metagross, Mega DNC, like Necrozma, Salazzle. It's just like breaking power. Um, we're just going to pretend this column doesn't exist because I kind of got to like Salazzle and forgot to draft removal. Um, you do have Magic Bounce, Mega DNC, you do have Decidueye, which I think can come like almost every week with this team. Um, just because it's such a good gloom on. Um, but this this column here is like really good. Um, G Zap, Decidueye, Galvantula, Type Null. Um, to be honest, I'd gotten like this far through the draft and was like, I've forgotten about these two columns. So I just was like, eh, screw removal, we're gonna get some pivots. It's got good rockers, it's got webs. Um, I'm not gonna rank this, eh, I'm gonna rank this team, uh, let's look at Obaro's team. I will rank it because it's not like technically mine. Um, I think this team, like the real shine is like when you come over to these charts here and it's like so well balanced. Um, I I think this team's a 7.5 out of 10. Um, but we're going to move on. Sorry to Eevee, but like if you get me to draft your team, don't expect me in power rankings. So one thing I've been saying is like we've been getting a good bit of value um, so far. And we're going to see if this is continuing. I already see like some decent value picks here. but um, So we're going to go to Theo next, which is... Taunty, Galarian Slowking, Rotom Heat, Zygarde, Zarude, Vaporeon, Bronzong, Mega Heracross, Deancey, Kangaskhan, and Eldegoss. So, what's my first initial, um, my initial reaction with this team? Uh, I'm gonna be honest, there's a fair few mons that I don't like on this team. I don't like Zygarde, I think it's very overpriced. Eldegoss is a waste of a Pokemon, Deancey is, like, really weird. Um, Kangaskhan, Kangaskhan's not bad. Bronzong is your solo steel is like really putting pressure on um really putting pressure on it um but yeah looking at these speed tiers like these are I'm not gonna be I don't want to be mean but these are trash speed tiers like this gap here is so exploitable because not only like Torn T most like it's a really good mon and it's very hard to outspeed but a lot of things outspeed Zarud. Um, at like 105 to 110, like we were talking about, let me just come back to, who was it? Um, a Burrows team. Like, look, we've got Laddie, we've got Thundy, we've got Alolan Persian. Like, they all outspeed, and there are going to be teams like that. Like, these speed tiers just aren't great. They're relying on Zygarde to get to plus one. They're relying on Torn to revenge everything. Um, maybe like a Scarf Rotom, Scarf Zarud. Um... Yeah, so speed tiers I see on a pretty trash. Um, special attack stats. We have Torn, pretty good. Glare and Sloking and Vaporeon, more often than not are going to be run defensively. Rotom Heat, more often than not, not going to be like super offensive. And then we've got like Deancey and Eldegoss and Zygarde. So pretty lacking in special breakers. Physical Breakers, um, Mega Heracross, fantastic. Zarud hits quite hard. Zygarde really needs a boost, but it can break through things. It Nowadays, without C-moves, it kind of is more of a cleaner. Um, although, one thing I will say is Grass types are the Zygarde's biggest bane. Um, you break those, like, a hundred times over. You've got Torn, you've got Slowking, you've got Rotom, and you've got Mega Heracross. So, you can bring, like, a whole team that breaks the Grass types. Um... So yeah, that's like the one thing I see here. Um, so like defensively, we're like, for me, a bit too strong. Looking at like this team, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mons that are usually run defensive. And then of those, we got Vaporeon, Bronzong, uh, Eldegoss, Deancey, Kang, like five of them really only run defensive sets because yeah Kang and yeah Deancey's got decent offenses but it's slow and it's got bad HP um so like this is probably the mon that you're like most likely out of those five gonna run offensive so that just really like when you have when you look at someone like I'll use Obaro for an example just because it's a team we've already gone over and it was a team that I said basically had to run a hyper offense 
you've really struggled to like match this and like go kill for kill with it because that's how if you don't have the super bulky mons and yes we do have like a lot of like defensive just like raw stats but if you struggle find a team that you can't quite check and you have to go kill for kill this team's coming out second best almost every time uh looking at our pivots we have torn zarud rotom uh vaporeon so there's four like it's Four is like bare minimum for me, I feel like. Um, unless you've got something like a regen core where you've got like, say, like Tangrowth Toxapex or something like that. I'd almost count something like that as a pivot. Um, if anyone mentions that Eldegoss Torn is a regen core, I'm going to like castrate them because Eldegoss is not a real Pokemon. Um, it was 100% drafted because this column was a little bit light and uh, like because that's the only reason I see to have double grass when one of them, one of them is a really nice mon, and kind of has to come for breaking power and momentum, and the other one is rapid spin plus waste of space, um, rocks, like, Bronzong, Diancie, like, Bronzong's a super reliable rocker, don't get me wrong, Diancie's pretty reliable as well, so like that, we did that okay, and then Mega Heracross, on the odd occasion, can click spikes, to be honest, I'm just going to have a look over here real quick. Um, like, yeah, that's why I feel like Rock resists. We have Zygarde and Bronzong. Like, just looking at Bronzong here, Bronzong is pressured to be, like, Poison, you have good Poison resists. It's pro pressured to be a Psychic resist because, like, think, things get coverage for Zarude. It's pressured to be your Dragon resist because Deancey is your Fairy. And it's pressure to be... Like, it's not super pressure to be a fair resist. Yes, I know that a couple of these are off your screen. I'm not going to fix that. Um, so, yeah, I feel like Bronzong's super pressured. Uh, honestly, I just don't like this team. Um, it's got some good Pokemon, and I think, honestly, these top three, that's a really good start. I love the idea of Mega Heracross. But that's where we went downhill. Vaporeon's fine, but I would honestly, like... Let's just say, for, like, argument's sake, I would get rid of... Like, maybe these four... I would get rid of, like, that. And just bring in some breakers, bring in some speed. Just bring in a way to get kills, honestly. Um, so, Theo, I feel bad for trashing on your team. But you're getting, like, a 4.5 out of 10. Um, I, yeah, personally really don't like it, and I see it struggling. Shade is up next. Um, how many teams have I done? I have done six teams in 37 minutes. God, I'm going slow. Um... So we got Mega Glade, Tab Finny, Scizor, Spectria, Tangrowth, Seismitoad, Arcanine, Mandibuzz, Drudagon, Roselia. First things first, we were talking about Mons going way later than they should have. Excuse me, who let a round 8 Mandibuzz go? Because I think that's one of the best Dark types going around. And... <laughs> what? How? Um, yeah, that's all I have to say. Like, that's fantastic value. First things first, looking at speed tiers, this team barely meets what I'd say is minimum. Um, I would love to, um, like, I would love to see something, just, like, one more, like, fast mon. And actually, honestly, the more I look at it, it's, like, these two, and then it's a big gap to Arcanine, and then Finny. So, yeah, needs more speed. Um, that's what I'm going to straight up say. Like, it... Yes, I know it meets my expectation, but Glade can't be scarfed. So it's like that your your main control, like speed control, is like S Spectria or Scarf Finny and Arcanine. Scarf Finny probably, because Arcanine doesn't love being scarfed, because there's about 437,000 water types. So yeah, that's that's disappointing. Um, like Spideffs wise you got Mandibuzz, you got Tapu Fini. They cover each other. Mandibuzz, Tapu Fini, and, like, Seismitoad cover each other, like, fairly nicely. Then you got, like, AV Tang is there, I guess. Um, physically defensively, you've got, again, Finny, you've got Tangrowth, you've got Mandibuzz, you've got Drudagon, which can help here. Tang. So, like, we're better physically defend. Even Scizor can, like, do it, just mainly because of its typing. Like, only weak to fire. Um, our breaking power is a bit lackluster on the special side. Like, you kind of want to be running, like, Specs Finny if you're going to be doing damage here. It's Spectre is really good. Um, like, 145 special attack, that kills a lot of things. Tangrowth is okay, Arcanine is okay, um, but yeah. 
honestly, um, this team would love a special attacker at like 110 or above. Um, I'm just trying to think of like what would fit that. Uh, I'm thinking like an electric type. Like Raikou on this team would just like chef's kiss. Um, that's what I see at first glance. Uh, physically, you hit things pretty hard. Um, that's, that's no... Like, you have Mega Glade, Scizor, um, Arcanine, and then Drodagon even. Like, Tangrowth can chip in. So, like, it's pretty decent. Um, but what where we go downhill is, like, these columns here. Um, U-turn for Sizzle Mandibuzz, and then we've got Arcanine for Teleport. I am not counting Mega Glade as Teleport, as a momentum, because you don't... Mega Glade is, like, the main threat that you want to get in. You want to get in Glade, and you want to get in the Spectria. You t so, like, momentum on the Mon you want to get in is not anywhere near as valuable, in my opinion. And if you're clicking Teleport, that means you're not utilizing this 165 attack stat with base 110 speed. Um, Stealth Rocks, we Seismitoad, Drudagon is decent. Um, Roselia I don't think is needed here. Like, I honestly would just drop this Mon. Like, I think Shade got it straight up because it was a Grounded Poison. It was like, hey, Spikes and T-Spikes is kind of cool. You don't need it. Um, Scizor and Finny, like, you have Tapu Finny, which can come in on T-Spikes. Um, set the terrain so you're not affected, and then just defog them away. Scizor, Mandibuzz, Finny, um, before I get sidetracked again, is, this is fantastic removal. Finny and Mandibuzz, two super reliable mons. Scizor forces a lot of switches and can happily do it. Um, yeah, honestly, this team needs a, like... As I said, this team needs a Raikou because it needs pivots, it needs um, special attack, and it needs speed. Um, and it really saddens me because I just saw, like, kind of these mons, and you've probably got one too many bulky mons. Like, you've got Finny, Spectria, Seismitoad, Arcanine, Mandibuzz. Like, you've got five mons, and then I take those away, and you've got, like, Scizor, Spectria, Gallade. It's kind of like, if we go back to... Remember I was talking about Puffer, and I said that, like, these three mons needed to get all the kills, but they were, like, really good at getting all the kills? If we come back to... Yeah, Theo's team. No, not Theo. We come back to Shade's team. These three mons need to get the kills, but, like, two of them are really good at getting the kills, but one of them is not quite so much. Um... I think it's going to be, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10, even despite of all that, just because the Pokemon themselves are, like, of good quality. Like, you've got, I think, just these top 5, 6, 7, like, these top 8 are all really good Pokemon on their own, so that just sort of elevates the team a little bit for mine. Um, but yeah, honestly, like, even, you could even downgrade, downgrade, I can't speak. Downgrade size Metode a little bit um, to get like just a, a ground type because Finny is so good at being your solo water. Um, and then yeah, drop Drudigan, drop Rose Elia, get um, get yourself some special attack, some speed, some momentum, and then maybe another um, like yeah, that's that's all I think. So Shade's getting a 7. We're on to Lucas now. We've got the Deoxys Speed, we've got the Hydreigon, we've got the Infernape, Nidoqueen, Raikou, Snorlax, Whimsicott, Copperaja, Thwacky, Dusclops, and Mega Blastoise. Well, first first things first, um, there's the Raikou that Shade should sell his soul for, because I think it fits fantastically. Um, and my first impression is I see this column and I'm very happy, because I have 180 speed, I have 115, I have 116 of Prankster, I have 108, we got 98, like, Lucas, you have made me happy because I've seen great speed tiers today. Um, we have some, like, pretty good special attack. Um, Deoxys, yeah, 95 is not great, but you can almost always run Modest, and I think, I remember working out at some point that, like, 95 Modest is the same as, like, 108 or 109 Timid, so, like, that's a pretty good pretty good attack. I'd say the same for its physical attack, but it just doesn't quite have the move pool. you got, like, Hydra, Infernape, Raikou, and Mega Blastoise, so you've got, like, some really good special breaking power. And then, like, in the physical attack section, it's not as impressive, but there's just a lot of consistency. Like, 
you have all of these mons here. Like, I forgot to mention Nido Queen. Nido Queen's really good at breaking. Uh, Snorlax and Copperaja, like, they hit hard. So that's what I like to see. Um, same with our defenses, like Dusclops. I can see why it's on this team, because your Hydreigon is your Dark type, and your, like, your Steel is Copperaja, so you kind of wanted, like, a really strong Ghost. But, like, it's, it's okay. Um, but it's, like, it's fat and it takes hits. Mega Blastoise, Snorlax is phenomenal at taking hits. Like, even Raikou and, like, Dio, Hydra, like, they can all do it well. Same with this one. A little less on the defense side because you've got, like, likes of Snorlax and, um, and that. Yeah, just to, just not the best. Thwacky, Thwacky is, to be honest, I'm not quite sure why Thwacky is here. Um, it's for the Mega Stoys to click, like, um, Grass-type Terrain Pulse. But, I, I mean, I guess it's not the worst thing in the world. Personally, I would have pulled Thwacky and Dusclops' points together and maybe upgraded Copperage or, like, just gotten a better Ghost type or something like that. I'm not sure how many points they were, but they're decent value picks. Um, let's look at our pivots. Pivots make me happy because there's a good amount of them. There's Infernape, Windsorcott, Hydreigon, Thwacky, Raikou, and Mega Blastoise. And I'm sort of going to count Deoxys here. Teleport's nice, and it can be run bulkier, and it's like, it, it can come in handy, but it's not the most amazing. Um, Stealth Rock Setters, we got Nidoqueen, we got Deoxys, Infernape, Copperasha, then we got, like, Deoxys with some spikes, and Nidoqueen with T-spikes. Like, that's a really good hazard game for me. That's, like, that's kind of what I want, is these three mons are going to be coming almost every week, Copperage is going to be coming, like, probably 50% of the game, so you will be able to fit rocks. If you want rocks, you'll be able to fit them. Removal, on the other hand, is <laughs> Mega Blastoise, like, I would normally say you don't want to be clicking removal with a mon that, like, just hits so hard, but by clicking removal with this mon, you're also getting plus one speed, which makes this mon, like, really hard to deal with. So, like, it's kind of reliable in that sense. Whimsicott gets pranks to defog, and Hydreigon gets defog. So it's, like, it's not the worst, but it's not the best. Um... Let's come over here, because I really want to find something wrong with this team. Um, we're a little bit ground weak, but we have terrain, and we've got, like, double grass type to mitigate that. Um, yeah, I I actually really like this team. Um, I was very skeptical. I remember Lucas picking Deoxys round one when, like, you let's, let's be real. You'll see what's left to come. But honestly, I think I'm going to have a look at the first one. Um... Yeah, I think this is an 8 out of 10, honestly. I think this is an 8 out of 10 because it is really solid. And, um, yeah, I just, I can't fault it. They complement each other well. There's a lot of ways to get it in. Um, the only thing I really say is, like, it's round one and two picks aren't, like, broken mons. Like, we look at, like, Dragapult. Lando, I Mega Medi. We've got a Shifu. We've got Laddie, kind of. Uh, not really. Um, Mega Deancey, you've got Taunty, like, this is the first, like, Mega Gallade, this is the first one that's, like, not great, but I know Lucas wanted to try Deoxys, so, like, fair play, he gets an 8 out of 10, and he's sitting first so far. Oh yeah, I'm back, I uh, just had to take a quick break for, get some water, um, these take a bit. So we're back with, here we stands team. Um, this is an interesting team. Mew, Corviknight, Mega Garchomp, Kartana, Sylveon, Silvali, Toxapex, Galarian, Moltres, and Blaziken. First thing I see is this makes me really sad, but you also, sir, have absolutely trash speed tiers. Um, like, what's going on here? Kartana is your fastest mon. Like, it's almost 110, like, almost qualifies, but then it's like Mew, Mega Garchomp, like... Yes, people will be like, oh, regular Garchomp's 102. Well, yeah, that's still not great. Um, you have a lot of mons, like, around that, like, 90 plus. But, yeah, it's you're going to have to run, like, a Scarfer every week, and there's not a mon on here that loves being Scarfed. Um, like, other than Kartana, but Scarf Cart is easier to play around. So, what we see, uh, moving on, we've discussed our speed tiers, like, Defensively, we have Toxapex, we have like Mega Chomp, Corviknight, Mew, 
Silvali. So we're like pretty solid defensively. Spideff, again, you've got Toxapex, Galarian Moltres, Silvali, Sylveon, um, Corviknight still to an extent, Mew. So like this team, you look at it at first glance, you're like Mega Chomp, Kartana, um, Mew. Like you're thinking, oh, this is like hit hard kind of team. No, this is a pretty bulky team. Um, battles with Iwi Stand are going to last a long time. They're either going to last a long time or he's going to lose. That's my prediction. Um, even, like, the HP stats. Like, there's, there's some chunky boys on this team. Um, so, deciding to only draft nine mons. Um, with, <laughs> but he's also filled my, um, my pivots column. However, we can go one, two, three, four, five of these are to one mon. So, if we cut four off, he's actually only filled, like, this part. Which is still impressive. So we have Glare and Moltres, Mew, Blaziken, Silvali, Corviknight as... So we got five mons. <laughs> Realistically, we got five mons because we've got, like, Silvali gets Parting Shot and U-Turn. Blaziken gets Baton Pass and U-Turn. Um, Mew gets all of them. Yada, yada, yada. So five of your nine mons having momentum, and the ones that don't being Toxapex, which is regen, kind of acceptable. Um... Mega Chomp and Kartana, the two mons that you want to bring in with that momentum. So I think like this, this column here, the pivots gets a big tick from me. Hazard removal, you have five removers in nine mons once again. So while like Mew and Kartana aren't the most reliable, you like you have Corviknight, which is one of the most reliable. You have Silvali, which does it really well. So yeah, I think this this column here is a tick. Only two rockers, one of them being Mew. Um, Mega Chomp and Toxapex, like, this is not good hazards. So, like, yeah, like, not at all. You need more rocks. And honestly, I think, like, going, I am a fan of top-heavy teams, but top-heavy teams need to be still built well. And I just, I question the round three Mega Chomp, when we've seen, like, round six Mega Arrow and round eight Mega Mawile. So that's, Yeah. Honestly, I've, I'm not in love with this team. Let's see if it's, like, any redeeming qualities. Yeah, we've only got one flying resist, um, and that's Corviknight. Your rock resists, uh, Mega Chomp and Kartana. Kartana is very frail, so it's only Mega Chomp as your rock resist. Um, like, outside of that, yeah, it's just... I don't know, you only got two water resists, and one of them, again, is a Kartana. So, like... Toxapex, if they get a, if your opponent's water type has a way to beat Toxapex, they can kind of just click water moves on you for free. So, that's, like, where Silvali comes in, I guess, but it's, like, kind of pressured. And, to be honest, I just don't think it's a super strong team. And we're gonna get, it's... It's gonna get a 6.5. Uh, it's gonna get, yeah, 6.5 out of 10. It's good, it's good, not great. Um, the thing's really holding it back. Horrible speed tiers, horrible hazard setters, um, yeah, and just, it puts a lot of pressure on a lot of mons. Yahoodles is next, um, it's an interesting team, I feel like I say that for all of these, uh, Garchomp, Celesteela, Greninja, Mega Gardevoir, Blissey, Lantern, Serena, Conkelda, Spiritomb, Oricorio, and Venomoth, um, no, it's not just the Fire Oricorio, I just had to pick one of them to put on the dock, um, Looking at here, guys, like, my, name, my first video after the power rankings, I think, is going to be, Dear Luxury, this is how you draft speed tiers. Because we have Greninja, and then we have Garchomp, and Mega Gardevoir, and that's it. Um, we have no webs to, like, help those speed tiers. We, like, the mons that love being scarfed are Garchomp and Garchomp. So this is a slow team. Um, <laughs> yeah. We have, like, Physical Breakers, we have Serena, we have Conk, we have Garchomp, pretty decent. Um, special Breakers, we kind of have Gren and Mega Gardevoir, and that's it, so that's not amazing. You have Mega Gardevoir, Blissey, Celesteela, Spiritomb to an extent, like AV, Serena, Lanterns, like, we're very bulky on the special side, which I kind of don't think that Blissey was needed, especially around 5 Blissey, that's so early. I've been talking all video about how mons have been taken, like, really late. This is kind of why. Because, like, Blissey Lantern, like, 
five six spirit tomb or a cory of venomoth i don't think are great mons like there was just so much more value on the board i feel at this point um like even physically defensive like celesteel is really pressured because the only mon giving it relief and like taking physical hits is like serena or maybe spirit tomb and that's not amazing you do have some decent like, decent-ish pivots, like Venomoth, Greninja, Oracorio, Serena, um, Lantern, they're all decent, you got Blissey with Teleport, but that means you're not wishing things up, and with how, like, weird you are physically, I feel like you want to be wishing things up as they bring their physical attacker in, um, on a Blissey, so, like, maybe not the best, a removal is okay, like, Serena, Conk are pretty reliable, these two mons I don't imagine coming very often. Once again, we have pretty terrible hazards. Um, double T-Spike users is pointless because you'll bring T-Spikes like once per season, twice per season maybe. Blissey is a pretty reliable rocker. Garchomp can do it okay. Um, would have loved to seen some more. Greninja against Spikes. Like Spikes Grand, everyone's like, oh wait, that's an amazing option. You don't actually bring it very often during the season. Um, I'm going to be honest. Unless you're playing someone that has like, a really bad removal, and you're setting up for, like, a Mega Gardevoir, just sweep everything, because we've set two layers of spikes and rocks, um, yeah, and you kind of want to be doing that with a fast mon, and your fast mon is the one that's setting spikes, so yeah, I, not a fan for me, personally, um, I'm now clicking over to this tab more, because I'm looking for redeeming qualities, um, it's okay, it's not amazing, um, we're not super weak to anything, but yeah, I just, not a fan. I'm sorry, Yahoo, but you have your top four picks I was really in love with, and then you just, like, what is this? Just drop, like, honestly, drop those, like, seven mons and start again. Because that top four is scary. Like, Celesteel, Mega Guard, Greninja, Garchomp. Like, I love that. I kind of hate everything you've done after it, except for Serena. Um, and Conqueror. I'm kind of a Conqueror fan, but... I don't know. Yeah, so I'm going to give you a 5.5 out of 10. Um, I don't think you're quite as bad as Theo because, like, Chomp Gardevoir can kind of just carry teams through on their own, especially with, like, Guts Conk cleaning up. Um, but, yeah, we're going to move on. We're going to move on to Anchor, or H, H. I'm terrible with pronunciations. Um we got the Mega Scissor, we got the Clefable, we got the Coma O, Starmie, Thundy T, Drapion, Lycanroc, Dusk, Donphan, Tangela, Magmorta, Masquerade, and Sincino. So we filled our roster. Um, not very often I see people draft 12 mons, just because I don't think the value is there. Uh, first impression, Speed Tears, a decent Starmie, Lycanroc, and Sincino. Like, what I said right at the beginning is we want either three mons at one ten or over, or we want two that come almost every week. That's sort of how I like to do it. Um, and we've got three, um, and two of them are going to keep coming most weeks, so I think that gets passed from me. One thing I will quickly mention, um, like Masquerain, Magmortar, and Como, and then like Mega Scizor, all kind of like close to each other, but I think it, it steps down really nice, because you've got like 115s, you've got the 110, the 100, the 95s, the 85s, the 83, like the 75. So it steps its way down to the slow mons, which I think is also always a nice thing to have. It's not like super important, but it's also like quite nice. Um, special attacks is where this team is going to fall down because Clefable kind of has to take them all. <laughs> um, I'm not even gonna, not even gonna lie. Like Clefable has to take almost all your special hits. Like, Como can do it, uh, Mega Scizor can do it, but, like, it's going to be Clefable, because you want, like, you want this Mon here, just, like, its physical defense is so big, and comparing that with, like, Don Fan Tag Tangle or Drapion, like, this is going to be either taking physical hits, or it's going to be, like, bullet punching its way through everything and, like, destroying, especially now that it has dual wing beat, like, great Mon, love Mega Scizor, used it a lot, um, it's one of my favorite Megas, um, yeah, so looking at that, special offense, we have Magmortar, we have Thundee, we have Starmie, because, like, Analytic gives it some points, and then Coma O. Um, Coma is kind of clangorous soul or physical for mine. Um, so, yeah, it's it's not a, not too bad. 
we're, we're a bit more physically orientated when we got Lycanroc, Dusk, Donphan, Coma O, and Mega Sizzle hitting pretty hard. Um, so I think we have enough offensive power, and we got enough um, physical defense. Looking at our pivots, again, someone else that's filled the column, except they've done it without Mew. We have... I mean, we can take away the three Baton Pass. I kind of want to just, like, take Baton Pass out of my dock. Um, just, yeah, not great. So we've got Mega Scizor, Mask Range, Sencino, Thundee, Clefable, Starmie, and Magnumwater. So you got seven Mons that pivot. Um, out of 12, that's, like, kind of like having five on every other team. Um, yeah, so... I like the pivoting options here, especially, like, Mega Scizor, Thundee, um, Starmie, Clefable. I think, like, kind of a four that can come most weeks. Um... So yeah, I think at first glance it's a pretty good team. Removal wise, we have Mega Sizzle, we got Fundy, and then we got the two spinners, so I think that's pretty reliable. We have four mons that don't mind running rocks. We got Webs, Mask Rain, which I I guess it's the only reason why it's there is Webs. Um and like Webs for Thundy or Lycan Rock. Um Or even Mega Scizor under Webs, like something that I haven't really used before, but I think that could be really cool. Um and then T Spike's Drap. Drap's always a fun mon looking over here like yeah this is what i thought like this is a properly balanced type chart in my opinion yes flying you're always going to be weak to flying but like lycan rock thundy can do it kind of all right and like lycan rock can come in on a hit maybe once um yeah i'm also starting to lose my voice so apologies if it gets pretty croaky here um i like this team i i'm just gonna say i like this team and i think it's quite well-rounded personally from like just my perspective just take these like take these five mons drop them and pick up like two or three solid ones because these like how many are there like three these seven really good gonna be coming to most games look at these seven and go well like what mons break them um if we take this out like we only lose one one rocker one remover and like one bit of momentum or like two um, so maybe keep Sincino because like a normal type is kind of cool to have. Um, but just sort of, yeah, I don't think filling out the roster with this team was great. Maybe upgrade your Donphan, um, and Tangler. Like Masquerade is, I feel like Masquerade is not really needed. Just with how many things get like Defog and then you got Boots. Um, yeah, I don't think Webs is the greatest option anymore. Um, oh, sorry. I forgot to rank this team. I quite like it. I think it's on par. On par with Lucas at an 8 out of 10. We're going to move on to Chris. Chris has the Victini, Zera, Nido King, Blastoise, Registeel, Noivern, Comfy, Mega Gyarados, Verizion, Miss Magius, and Miltank. Um, like I was saying before, this is another reason why everyone else was able to get stuff super late. First three rounds, I enjoy. Blastoise Registeel, like, round 4 or 5, really early. Comfey is a terrible fairy type. I will stand by that till the day I die. Verizion is not a good Pokemon, uh, especially when you have, like, Mons that are already more, like, specially defensive orientated. Um, and then, like, from there, it's okay. Speed tier-wise, like, Zeraora, Noivern, great speed tiers. Verizion, Trashmon, okay speed tier. Um... Miss Mag, then you got Miltank, Comfy, and Victini at 100. It's like we kind of do the, like, 100 to 110 thing a bit overkill. Um, but yeah, so special defense we have covered because we got Registeel, we got Comfy, we got Mega Gyarados, we got Virizion, and then we got kind of like Miss Mag and Blastoise that can step in. Physical defense, again, like Mega Gyarados, Miltank, like we have it covered. Special attack, where did our special attackers go? You have Nidoking, um, Victini, and Zera, which are all, like, decent. The only real mon that I'd say properly breaks special walls is Nidoking. Zera and Victini, um, like, Victini's a physical breaker, in my opinion, because of V-Create, but especially it wants to, like, clean more, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, it does get Blue Flare, which is a really high base power move, but, like, yeah, I, I don't know, um... Physically, again, we have, like, Mega Gyarados, we have Zera, Victini, and, like, Nidoking, so we're a little bit better, but we still, like, would love, like, just some more breakers here, because we have Blastoise, we have Registeel, we have Miltank, we have, Miss like, 
Maybe not Miss Magus. So these three Mons, and then you can probably group like Verizia and Comfe in there as well. They're just not really going to be run offensively. Like Verizion has the stats and the move pool to do it, but it's stabs are so terrible. Like it might as well just be a pure fighting type, because um, the only thing you break better with Verizion is grass types. Um, I mean, not a grass type. With the grass typing is ground types and um, water types. You destroy water types with Zera Aura, and you break rounds very easily with Gyarados. So, yeah, um, that's what my first thing. And this column also concerns me because we have Victini, Noivern, Comfy, Zera, Blastoise. Blastoise is such bad four move slot syndrome that it doesn't really get a chance to run flip turn. Because looking at this column here, it's like Noivern, Comfy, or Blastoise. So Blastoise is going to be your remover most of the time. So if you're running Rapid Spin and you're running Flip Turn, you generally want to run like Toxic, you want to run a Water Move, um, you want to run like some Coverage, like there's, there's a lot you want to do with Blastoise, and trying to fit both Flip Turn and Rapid Spin on is kind of making it a very passive member of your team. Um, rock is, rocks are fine here, Nero King running T-Spikes is a nice bonus. But yeah, my problem with this team mainly is it just lacks Breakers. Um, got great it's got good speed tiers um don't get me wrong but it just lacks like special breaking power um and looking over here we have like a real ground weakness that's only covered up by like Noivern and Verizion and Verizion I've already expressed how I do not like that Pokemon um you do have Gyarados pre-mega but that's like sketchy um and then you've got Noivern who's like Rock Week as well. So Verizion is your Edge Quake answer, and it's just not a good one for me. Uh, but in saying that, I've bashed on this team a little bit too much. I don't think it's terrible. Um, I think it's a 6 out of 10 for me. Um, yeah, so it's not it's not terrible, but it's not amazing. I'm just a bit sad because I saw these first three and I was like, oh, where is he going to go? There's still like a Mega Mawile on the board. There's still a Mega Arrow on the board. There's still like so much good stuff on the board that we could like really flesh these first three picks into something like amazing and then we went Blastoise, Registeel, Nova and Comfy and I'm like oh oh we were so close um but yeah moving on we got Stanny B we got Coco, Lando, Slowbro, Weavile, Volcarona, Roserade, Licky Licky, Melmetal, Hitmontop, Mega Burnett. can I just like this this just feels Gen 7 to me like this, this feels like a real Gen 7 team with a Melmetal and a Mega Burnett thrown on, um, which is interesting, and I kind of love it. Um, this is one of the teams that I enjoy more. Um, let's tick the speed tier box, because you've done exactly what I said. Two Mons that are going to come almost every week, above 110, and they're well above 110. 130, 125, check the box. Reliable Scarfers. We have Lando, one of the better Scarfers in the format. We have Volcarona, which can Quiver Dance and boost its speed quite well. Um, yeah, like, really good. Love it. Um, looking at our special attackers, we have Volcarona, we have Roserade, and then, like, Coco, because of terrain, like, quite good. Checks that box. Physical attackers, like, this is, this is some physical breaking power. I like to see me some greens and some dark greens. Coco, we got Lando, we've got Weavile, we've got Melmetal, and we've got Mega Burnett. And Mega Burnett now gets Poltergeist. So that's hitting. That's the same attack stat as Mega Gallade, and this thing's like five points or whatever, ridiculous. And it's off a Ghost type, which Ghost is arguably one of the best offensive type things you can get. Yeah, it's frail and slow, but like we'll get to that in a sec. Um, defensively, like Spit F wise, you got Hitmon top, you got Roserade, Volcarona. Volcarona is actually a defensive mon now with boots. Like Bugfire is actually a pretty good defensive typing. Slowbro is, like, quite good. Licky Licky because of that HP. Even, like, AV Melmetal because it's coming off 135 HP. You invest a little bit in Spadef, and, like, away you go. Physically defensive. You have Slowbro. You have Lando because of Intimidate. You have Licky Licky Melmetal. Hit him on top because of Intimidate. So we're done there. And, like, it, from pure stats, stats point of view, if I'm looking at, like, just this, I love it. I love this team. It's slightly different. It's like Gen 7 meets like Gen 8 down here. Like you could almost draw a line through. Pivots. This column concerns me because there's only four pivots. But if we look at it, they're 
four mons that are going to come a lot. Slowbro, Coco, Lando, Volcarona. Volcarona is probably the one that's going to come the least, and out of this league's eight weeks, uh, it's probably going to come five times. That's my guess. Um, yeah, so like, it's it's not as bad as it looks. Hazard removal. You got Hitmontop, Coco, Lando, Volk. You will be able to get removal once, like most weeks. What makes me sad is Lando is your only rocker, and then Roserade is there for spikes. Like, ugh. if that Licky Licky was a mill tank, I would be in love with this team because Licky Licky and mill tank. The only difference is one gets Wish and one gets um, Stealth Rocks. In my opinion, um, I think mill tank's a bit better, um, and I would have just loved to have seen it taken there. Um, but yeah, it's it's really good. Um, one thing I will say is we do also have a Trick Room option with this team. And if you have an opponent that is super weak to Steel types, super weak to Ghost types, or, like, what's another bad... Like, even Fighting types, or, like, Hitmontop. Um, you can just Trick Room Slowbro teleport into one of these two and claim a life. Like, a Banded Melmetal, or, like, an Adamant Poltergeist using Mega Burnett. Like, if you don't have proper resists and they come... And they come into um, what you call it, like a trick room. It's it's game over. It's like you're you're up six v five at that point. I'm gonna check here, not to look for something bad about this team, but just double check I haven't missed anything. We're a little bit flying weak, but Coco Mel Metal's decent. Um, Slow Pro is your only fire resist. It's slightly concerning. That's where I would have loved uh, Mil Tank even more. I know Miltank's been drafted. Stanny, honestly, if you can, bribe that Miltank player as much as you can to try and put that on your team instead of Licky Licky, because then I think you would have, like, one of the best teams. I honestly actually might give you... Let's go back to this team. Um, Yeah, this, this team's getting a 9 out of 10. I love it. It's so Gen 7, but it's done so well, and I... Like, it... If we look at this, Lando, like, what what stops Lando? It's like bulky uh, bulky ground types, grass types, or um, waters, I think, are the best way to, like, counter Lando, in my opinion. We break waters, we break grounds, and we break grasses here. We've, like, like Volcarona is beaten by, like, probably bulky grounds that run, um, run rock moves, or, like, just rock types in general. We destroy rock types with, like, these three. And then ground types are broken by these three as well. Mel Metal again, opposing steels. We have like a really good fire, we have a really good ground. It's just they all sort of cover for each. So, yeah. The only thing that doesn't really get covered is like Mega Mode Net hates normal types and your fighting's him on top. It's like And like Dark types as well, but your fairy is Coco. So like Mega Burnett's probably the least supported mon on this team, which is both a good thing and a bad thing for Stanny, because if Mega Burnett starts going under the radar, and then it comes and it clicks its buttons, like, oh, watch out. I'm excited, because I've been wanting to see someone use this mod for a while now. Um, but yeah, that's why this is a 9 out of 10, and even though it has one rocker, uh, it just does things really well. We've got Blood here, who's got the Round 1 Excadrill, Mega Lop, Gengar, Kiram, Milotic, Vicavolt, Titar, Celebi, Talonflame, Swirlix. Um, well, first things first, like, straight off the bat, he's done the, he's done the three, even though two of them are going to be coming to most games, like, that is speed tiers. Um, second thing I say off the bat is Excadrill, but no, like, Excadrill plus Sand, so that's another, like, amazing speed tier. Like, we have no problem with blood going fast. Like, that meme, it's like, gotta go fast, is, that's, like, this team, and I love it, um, because I'm a big fan of drafting, like, proper speed tiers. Spadef wise, um, Celebi, you've got Milotic, um, Titar and Sand, like Curum because it's nice HP. Like you have great options. Physically, like not quite as many. Um, Curum again, but it's a nice type. Flame Orb, Milo, Vicar Vault to an extent. Titar again. Um, Celebi, Celebi, and then Talonflame more for its typing rather than anything. Um, we have double webs users, which really confuses me why the hell Swirlix is on this team. Like, there are so many one-pointers that we could have done, but we went with Swirlix. Um, honestly, I would have gone for, like... I'm trying to think, is there, like, a Prankster Spikes setter in one point? Um, just to, like, 
for a bit of hazards because then we could like stack um yeah like swirlix i was like oh yeah that's webs that's kind of nice because like um mold breaker drill and webs you've got like titar and webs curum and gengar and webs but then i'm like you already have vikavolt so i don't really know what's going on here um looking at our pivot options Celebi, Megalop, Talonflame, Vikavolt, and Milotic. We got five really good ones out of ten mons. That's a big check from me. We're going to skip over removal for a sec. We have Hazard Setters. We've got Titar, Celebi, Drill, and Vikavolt um, setting hazards. That again, another decent sized check from me. I like that. Removal. You have Talonflame and Excadrill. Talonflame is really the only... Like, use your one-pointer as like something that can remove at least just to like make me feel better and like fill this column even though it's not going to come 20 games um yeah removal's probably going to be a thing here but then looking at our rock weaknesses it's vikavolt curum talonflame three mons that like really don't mind running boots um probably curum uh is the one that really wouldn't mind another item like lefties if you're running like sub roost or like specs curum scarf curum metronome is another fun one um so yeah that's kind of the one that you want to be um removing most for i uh, we only have one ice resist but that's my Lodic, and my Lodic's a fantastic ice resist and the mon that you want to be resisting most when it comes to ice types is curum because it has freeze dry and you have the curum on your team so i think that's pretty good um yeah so things are going all right um i think this team's really good i'm actually uh, I this would be like comparing it to Stanny this would be up there except it has like non-existent removal so it's going to get an 8.5 um, we got the teams at the back end coming in strong um, and we're going to go to Zebra no not Zebra McGee <sighs> this team this team hurts me um I also apologize if I'm racing through these last ones. My voice is, like, going, and I'm trying to be just a bit more concise, like, not disregarding them. Um, generally, also, with the better teams, I have, like, with either the really good or the really bad teams, I have less to say. Like, it's those middling ones that I feel like are quite good. Um, like, quite a lot can be said about. But just look at it. Like, this team stresses me out. Mega Beedrill, Gliscor, Florges... Keldeo, Tapulele, Dragonite, Rotomo, Ordino, Incineroar, Sneasel, Pukamuku. This team looks like it was picked by random.org. Um, and, like, I don't mean that in a mean way. I mean that in there's, like, what the hell's going on? Round 1, Mega B. Round 3, Florges. Um, there's a Pukamuku is, like, there for some reason. Um... Like, it's, it's just weird. Looking at our speed tiers, um, Mega Beedrill's obviously a fantastic speed tier. Um, Sneasel's okay, and then, like, Keldeo. So it's, like, it barely almost gets past on the speed tiers. Um, and, like, we're bulky, especially and physically, with the likes of, like, Florges, Lele. But, again, they're both the same type. Like, I don't understand why we have Double Fairy on this team. We also have double flying, we have double water, um, like, we, it's, it's weird. This t we have double dark, I knew there was another one that I was missing, like, I don't understand. Um, I actually want to look, like, it feels like there's many types, like, you're missing rock, you're missing ghost, and you're missing a steel type. No steel type means that just, like, it means that, like, so many types can just go ham, like, you don't have a flying resist. Like, that, that team before that I said was, like, every team has a torn, like, answer. This team doesn't. Like, just straight up. Uh, you don't have a normal resist. That's... Holy, that's problematic when you face Snorlax. Because you also don't have a fight. Your fighting type is Keldeo. Um, which is really good. But, like, you don't have a normal resist. Um, you... It's... Like, it's just... Not great. You don't... Your fairy resist is only Mega Beedrill, so you don't have a Fairy Resist either. Um, your Poison Resist is Gliscor Mega Beedrill, so you only have one Poison Resist. Um, your only Rock Resist is Keldeo. Like, it's... This team is honestly all over the place, and I don't understand what's going on with it, because... Eh, 
at no point in this draft am I like, that's okay. Keldeo, Gliscor, um, Dragonite, Rotomo. Well, let's, let's pick Mons that I would drop. I think if I'm going to drop, I'm going to drop Florges. I'm going to drop Ordino. I'm going to drop Sneasel and Pukamuku. Um, like, probably Lele as well, although maybe not. Um, yeah, so I'm dropping like half of this team. And I'm like, it's it's weird. Looking at our pivots, pivots is like where we're at. Um, in terms of like having okay. We have Mega B, we have Gliscor, Incineroar, Rotom, Mo, and Keldeo. So I got like five pivots out of 11 Mons, which is less than half, which again isn't great because you have Mons like Floor, just Lele, Dragonite, Ordino, um, Sneasel, Pukamuku. Like there's Mons in there that are going to have to come a lot with this team. Removal, removal you do well, which is good, because you have no, remo you have no hazards. Gliscor, if you ever fit rocks on a Gliscor, I will be very surprised, because there's so many things that Gliscor wants to do. You want to run, like, U-Turn, Earthquake, Roost, Fling is another good option, or, like, Toxic, or probably Toxic, because, like, that's cool. You want, a you want Flying Move, you can, like, have Facade, you can have Swords Dance, like, Gliscor, in any given matchup, wants to run, like, 14 different moves. And if you're pick using one of those slots on Stealth Rocks, because you have to, because you have no other way of, like, chipping your opponent's team down, then that kind of stresses me out. Um, yeah. The other thing is, like, you don't break Steel types with this team outside Keldeo. Like, what stops Mega Beedrill Steel types? What stops Tapu Lele Steel types? What stops Florges Steel types? Like, you have... Gliscor has to be, like a breaker on this team, because Dragonite can, like, kind of be stopped by Steel types, so that's, like, Rotom Mo can almost be stopped by Steel types, like, Steel types are just a, like, I feel like McGee is playing in Gen 1 when Steel type wasn't around, because we forgot to draft one, and we forgot how to break them, so, yeah, I, I feel bad, but this team is, like, definitely the worst that we've seen, and just in case that there's anything, like, I'm giving this a 2 out of 10, just because, it, by any chance, if the last guy, I can't remember who it is, um, has a worse team, I want to be, have a, has a bad team as well, I want to have room to give this. Um, and also, my last point, we had, talking about Mons that were taken, like, really early, when you've got round three Florges, like, got Lele in there, like, Dragonite, Lele and Dragonite are okay Mons, like, Rotomo's an okay Mon, but, like, Sneasel, Pukamuku, or Dino, like, Florges, like, come on, we can do better. So we have Brother Quang as our last one. And uh oh, I I've already I've seen the first two mons and I'm already know that I'm in for a, like a nice break after that last one. We have Zapdos, Rillaboom, Primarina, Cinderace, Mega Agron, Umbreon, Galarian Slowbro, Stunfisk, Buzzwall, Frostlass, and Drampa. And that first that first wheel, um, is this is obviously the last team, it's gonna be the back wheel. That first wheel is like I love that. Zapdos is a great mon. Rillaboom is amazing. Rillaboom struggles to break, um, like, break flying types. Zapdos does that amazing. Zapdos comes in on every flying type ever, except Mega Aero, and that's the one that Rillaboom can hit neutrally. Um, we've got Primarina Cinderace. That's a slightly early Prim, but I actually like Prim with Rillaboom because I think it takes advantage of the grassy terrain because it's a sort of a bulkier, sort of tanky, dish out some hits. Um, same with this Mega Agron here in Grassy Terrain. Um, we've done really well. Even Cinderace, because it doesn't have to worry about the ground types as much. Um, yeah, like Buzzwall as well. Buzzwall benefits from Grassy Terrain, I feel like. Um, so yeah, we've done really well there. Um, I quite like... Honestly, like, this part of the team I'm in love with, and then, like, add the Buzzwall and... Maybe the Frostlass, because I can see, like... Yeah, actually, no, this is, like... I'll add the Umbreon, because I think Umbreon, like, is decent. Umbreon with Mega Aggron is, like, a decent pairing. But what I would have loved to have seen is just, like, some faster breakers outside of this. Because we have Cinderace for speed, and then we have Frostlass for speed. And then just, like, look at this. Look at this. We have... One, two, three, four, five, six more. We have half our team. More than half our team is 65 speed or below. Yes, you do have Rillaboom, which is priority, which is like almost makes your speed tiers barely passable. But I would have loved to have seen like a fast, 
um, like a fast physical breaker and a fast special breaker. Um, your ground type stun fisk as well, which also kind of sucks because why are we doubling electric types? Um, I don't really feel like Frostlass is that needed. Um, Dramper's a cool one. I like Dramper. Um, and Galarian Slowbro, I... I... yeah. I would, I just think these, like, this bottom half here, maybe minus Buzzwall, could have been reworked a little better. That's my, like, inkling that I get. Um, but it does look pretty cool. Um, our pivots, our pivots look good at first glance. We've got Zapdos, Rillaboom, Cinderace, Primarina. So we got four out of our eleven. Actually, that doesn't look very good because there's, like, three Baton Pass mons and Zapdos, which gets two. So yeah, get, get some speed, get, like... A fast breaker um, that has pivots. Like, that's what I would say for this team. Uh, removal, Zapdos, Drampa, Cinderace. Cinderace, I think, is a really clutch. Uh, I'm using it myself at the moment in another league, and, like, court change is just, like, it puts so much into your opponent's head. Like, I am... Um, recently, I had, like, a Klefki set up a couple of layer spikes on me, and then I just... You click court change, and you almost... When you when you click defog, you kind of undo the two turns. Say your opponent sets two layers of spikes. When you click defog, you kind of undo that one turn of theirs for like their two turns of theirs for your one turn. Whereas when you click court change, you take those two turns of theirs and you add them to your side. So you're almost like clicking defog if you haven't like if you haven't set rocks yourself, you're sort of you're at, like, net one turn, if that makes sense. Clicking Court Change, you're up, like, three turns because you've now essentially set all the hazards yourself as well, which is, like, to, to the point where if I'm facing a Cinderace, I almost don't want to bring... Like, if I'm facing this team, I almost don't want to bring Spikes or I don't want to bring, like, T-Spikes and Rocks because if you, like, Rillaboom Cinderace... Um, we got, like, the Starter Triangle... Oh, there's actually three starters in a row were picked. That's kind of cool. Um, you give, like, you set a couple of layers of spikes, which, like, this ties into the Frostless argument, which I can kind of see why it is there. Um, things just start dropping to Glide. Um, things just start dropping to Pyro Ball. Um, and that's really, really scary. Mega Aggro on Stunfisk as your rockers. Um, honestly, dude, just, like, get rid of Stunfisk. Um, maybe, like, just use these points better. Honestly, like, that sounds really weird to say, but, like, because you don't really, um, Stun Fisk isn't going to be coming a lot, but Mega Aggron's a really good stealth rocker, and as I said, Court Change, so if they click Rocks versus you, that's, like, it almost, like, makes Cinderace, like, half of a rock setter, if that makes sense, um, probably doesn't, I'm probably just talking at my ass. One last thing we will look at, because I think this is a good team, and I don't want to make sure, I want to make sure I haven't missed anything, is our type chart here, um, yeah, it's pretty well rounded. This team is getting, it's getting a, it's getting a, it's gonna get an eight out of, eight out of ten. But it might be like a low eight out of ten compared to the others. Um, yeah, I'll go back and review because obviously we have like I think three teams got an eight out of ten and a couple got a seven and a half. So I will order them in post. Um, as I have done the last couple of seasons, I will post a spoiled. Um, screenshot for those people who just want to take a quick, quick glance, um, or for those who, like, want to click on that after they've seen the video. Um, but yeah, as always, uh, we are coming up on an hour and a half video here, which is quite long. My voice is very destroyed. I was planning on recording two of these today. I don't think I'm going to be able to, um, just because I might be very croaky by the end of it. But as always, thanks anyone to anyone who's made it this far, um, and feel free to stop by probably tomorrow for the next installment of the Power Rankings. Bye-bye.